with T quilts and I'm here today to do the quilters patch sew along we're actually on month four I am uploading this video a week late because I had a lot of activities going on in the month of September as well as the month of October so let me just show you what we're working on the first block that we're doing this month is the tulip block So this will be actually block number seven. And then we also have another block to do this month, which is the day lily block, and it will be block number eight. Now I, again, am not gonna go into all of the sewing, and especially since I'm a week behind, I've already gone ahead and cut all of my pieces. I have them labeled for both blocks. So I am just going to go ahead and get started because these first four months, once I've shown you what's going on in the first month, they have all been consistent. And I think in month five is where we'll have some changes. So I'll do a little bit more detail. So I just want to get the assignment out. Make sure that you're working on your blocks. Make sure that if you are working on them, that you send me your blocks so I can add them to my video at T Quilts at tquilts.com so my email is tquilts at tquilts.com so I will see you in a bit with my blocks done and then I will also show you all eight of my blocks together I'm back with a quick tip because I noticed that they had in the directions for you to mark two inches away from the edge make a little mark so that you can then draw a diagonal line from that mark to the corner and I just want to show you what it ends up looking like and I don't mark the two inch what I actually do is I take the piece and I lay it on my strip set and make sure that it's going the correct direction of what I want to stitch. So I want this to come up. So we want it to flip up like so when it's stitched. So what I want to do is just place this flush along the edge of any side of the strip. Now I know that my two inch is right there and I can just use a ruler to draw diagonally down because I can see the fabrics. So I'm just using this paper on this envelope just so you can see it from my white background. So now I have my sewn line and then now I can move it back up to the corner and sew my piece so that when they connect, it would be at the right angle. But I just thought I'd share that tip. I'll come back when I'm finished. I'm back and I have my tulip block and it's all completed. I didn't have any other additional tips to share with the tulip block. It came out pretty cool. And to the right, is my daylily block. I did like how they had you make the leaf and stem section oversized and then you cut it down. So I actually enjoyed making both of these blocks. And you do have extra pieces when you make this block and she does indicate that in the instructions because when you're cutting a square on both diagonals you maybe only need three of the pieces instead of four so it just depends on which block you're making so these are my two blocks and then I promised that I would show you my other six blocks so I will put them on a design wall and take a snapshot and add it after this video 
So I'll go ahead and say at this point, thank you for watching. I hope you are making your blocks. Please don't forget to send me blocks if you're making them so that I can add them into the gallery. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.